Here you see me negotiating a highly curved mesiobuccal canal of a lower molar. It took several archwine motion to finally reach the apex. At no point is high apical pressure productive. Because I never felt like I was hitting a wall, the most productive motion I could use was a short twist and pull motion. As long as the rotational motion constitutes a short arc, less than 90 degrees, there is little chance of canal transportation. Here you see the 08 reamer exiting the apical terminus. The short arc of motion, whether done manually or in the reciprocating handpiece, prevents apical distortion while the more vertically oriented flutes of the reamers minimizes but don't completely eliminate the extrusion of debris. You can see how larger instruments have not distorted the apical exit. When a number 25 relieved reamer was placed in the canal one millimeter beyond the terminus in this case, it first hit a wall. So I bent it to conform and reattach it to the reciprocating handpiece to more easily shape the walls of the canal. Because I have shown the complete sequence of instruments on other cases, I do not show it here. However, because of the initial narrowness of the canals and their great curvature, I elected to shape the apex to a 30, followed by body shaping with the 2506, and then fitted the medium points in both mesial canals. Please note once again the round hole preparation at the terminus that resulted from our shaping sequence. Also, please note the placement and fit of the point when locked into position.